Hello everyone, I'm Anton Retro, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm joined by Lucky Lack 2. Hey guys, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at our top 10 must-have Nintendo Switch games. The Nintendo Switch definitely has a fantastic library, and many of these titles present a new era of Nintendo games. So before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see future videos on the channel, and let's get started. Pokemon games usually are very good games. Pokemon Sword and Shield is a great entry to the Pokemon franchise. There's a fun unique region to explore with interesting Pokemon to catch both new and old. The characters and story are overall decent but there isn't anything that blow you away. The game really isn't that difficult so if you want a harder experience you won't find that here. There's also a brand new wild area. This is a really cool idea and it's really fun to run around and bike around while encountering Pokemon in their wild habitats, but the execution in terms of things to do is quite minimal. There's quite a lot of controversy surrounding this title, and from my own experience, I found the game a little bit of the unpolished side. The visuals especially look very trash, low resolution and underwhelming from the Switch's capabilities. Game Freak really cut every corner they could possibly get away with, and the trees look terrible. Even though there are countless of problems with the game, I still found it to be a fun experience and an enjoyable time, which is why it got in 10th place on this list. As a relatively new Nintendo franchise, it's pretty crazy how popular the Splatoon series has gotten. Splatoon 2 is the second installment in the series and is essentially an online multiplayer game. In this game, you team up with three other players to take the other team on. Your player character is an inkling, a combination of a squid and a human. You can transform into either forms, which allows you to move quickly throughout the stage. This game relies on ink that you shoot from various weapons. The main game mode is called Turf War, which is more casual and you have to try and cover as much of the ground with your color ink as possible. So you have to make sure that you get the most percentage and that's how you win. You can also splat the other players, although that won't have any effect except for some points. Now, if you want something on the competitive side, you have rank and league battles. These I don't personally find as satisfying and fun as Turf War, but they are still cool nonetheless. Customization is a really important part of this game, as you can buy a lot of different weapons that have different stats and play styles. There's also a single player campaign and Salmon Run which is a whole other mode too. As much as it is a unique and fun game, it can get quite repetitive and really boring as there is no achievements or anything to really keep you coming back. And you will need the Nintendo Switch Online subscription to access the online modes which is pretty annoying. And that's why Splatoon 2 gets a 9th spot on the list. This amazing crafted remake from the 1993 Game Boy Classic not only captures the game perfectly, but is extremely faithful in every way. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening has so much charm. The visuals look stunning even if they were hard on the Nintendo Switch. It's also perfect as the game was originally built for a handheld console and now you can experience it in beautiful HD. The game is a joy to play with this amazing soundtrack and great puzzles. The game is pretty much remade by tile by tile, so all the puzzles overworld designs, and mechanics work exactly the same. Many of the annoying problems from the original have been changed or removed to make the experience better. The only problem is with the game is that it's quite short and doesn't have that much context added. So if you played the original and really done with it, you might not want to do the exact same thing all over again. However, there is new dungeon creator that replaces the camera shop. This is a really cool concept, but sadly you can't upload levels and can't play other people's levels. The only way to share this is via Link's Awakening Amiibo, but overall it's a fantastic remake. So if you have never experienced it before, then this is the best time. Ever wanted to be a level designer or create the Mario level of your dreams? Well, Super Mario Maker gives you the access to create polished, fun and unique courses with its great tools and parts. There is a great number of course parts and many power-ups to make the level any way you want. Add pipes, platforms, enemies, etc. You can choose between many Mario level styles and themes to customize your level further. And they do look really nice. You can also add gear conditions to make the levels extra interesting. When you are finished with your level, you can upload it to the course world where others can experience your handcrafted course. 
And now, with a brand new update to the game, you can now make your own Mario game, create an overworld and place levels along the path. Then you can also post it on Course World for others to play, so that means you have now an infinite amount of Mario games to play, so it's amazing. Now if you don't like the idea of user generated levels, then check out the story mode. These are Nintendo made levels. There is a ton of well designed levels, and they can also deliver quite a bit of inspiration for your own masterpieces. Also, the multiplayer modes can be quite slow depending on your Wi-Fi, and can sometimes be unfair, especially when keys are involved. But overall, that's why Super Mario Maker 2 gets the 7th spot on this list. The Wii U game that for some reason I'm really good at is back better than ever in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This Mario Kart game is quite possibly the best Mario Kart experience ever. Great physics, incredible design tracks, and a great level of customization with a great cast of characters that aren't even from the Mario franchise. The music is amazing and the graphics are stunning. Battle mode has been redone in this game with new battle courses instead of the regular tracks like in the original version. Aside from a couple of new characters and tweaks in the game, the DLC from the Wii U is all included in the base game so there's tons of content in the game. And finally, to have a purely handheld version of the game, I do think it's definitely worth it. If you own the Wii U one, it would really have to be your decision. Overall, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe gets 6th place on the list. In 5th place is Luigi's Mansion 3. This brilliantly designed action puzzler is charming in every way. The game is a ton of fun with each room being a delight to enter with its many secrets and clever designs. There are a ton of new concepts introduced to the Luigi's Mansion series that feel right at home. The big new addition is Gooigi, which is your second playable character. If you're playing it alone, you can control both characters at a time, but playing with a friend locally is fun too. Scarescraper is the big online mode in this game, where you can actually play locally with someone playing as Gooigi also. And if you are a completionist type that wants a lot more to do, there are the achievements and collectibles too. And that's not all, there's even a Mario Party-like mode called Scream Park that has a whole bunch of different minigames. With more on the way with DLC. The graphics, animations, and music are brilliant and overall a complete package. Which is why Luigi's Mansion 3 gets the 5th spot on this list. At the number 4th spot we have Super Smash Bros Ultimate. This crossover fighting game packs up tons of content into a small package. You have over 70 fighters with every character from the old Smash games and a few newcomers as well. There's tons of stages, modes, music tracks, we're talking 24 hours worth of content and even an adventure mode to top it all off. You can even make stuff too as there's a stage builder, me fighter creator, and a video editor as well. You can also view and download the creations people make online. Also, as a game to play with friends, it is perfect to make some custom stages as you can make it very chaotic. The game has so many options that it's allowed to play the game however you want it to be played. This game is must have a Nintendo Switch title as it is a celebration to video games and it's getting larger with its paid DLC. After a long time coming, Animal Crossing New Horizons is an amazing reboot of a classic Nintendo franchise. This social simulation combines crafting, customization, and collecting into a wonderful, polished experience. In this game, you start off from scratch living on a deserted island. With Tom Nook and two other villagers, you begin to shape the island into a paradise that you get to have complete control over. You can design the landscaping, select building locations, and other services. The animal NPCs are full of life. There is a lot to see and do in this game, and it is the perfect relaxing experience. However, the game only allows one town per system. If you have a Switch or Switch Lite for yourself, this is not a big deal, but for others who share a Switch with their siblings, could potentially find this a problem, but the online functionality is great allowing you to visit others islands and allowing them to visit yours. The graphics are gorgeous, the music is amazingly composed, and if you ever played and loved a previous entry, this game is perfect for you. And if you haven't gotten to the series or want to start, you won't believe how addicting and fun it is until you try it for yourself. Super Mario Odyssey is a return to the structure and design of the first two 3D Mario games, like Super Mario 64 and Sunshine. Odyssey encourages exploration and puzzle solving, as well as precise fun platforming. The game has you collecting power moons, a power source that allows you to progress and journey to farther kingdoms. 
The story is just like any other Mario story, but the way the game structures itself and the journey to save Princess Peach is really engaging. The brand new mechanic is Cappy, Mario's classic hat but now living. You can throw Cappy to interact with the world, and even when timed right, it can allow you to control the world in a way you couldn't before. In addition to that, Mario also has an expanded moveset and improved physics that can't be beaten. But that's not all, because Cappy can also allow Mario to take control and capture many creatures and characters throughout the game. This also allows for some new gameplay ideas and new abilities. The bosses and characters are fantastic with the brand new Brutals and even Pauline as the new Donk City Mayor. The game doesn't offer any good multiplayer, only a really bad co-op mode, but if you want to play on the Nintendo Switch Lite, it's really good. The music is amazing and the graphics are incredible. Nintendo was really ambitious to bring back the open world format in a brand new era of Nintendo. So if you're a fan of 3D Mario, this is a must have title. For the number one spot, you guessed it, is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This game leaves out most of the tropes of past Zelda games behind, but totally reinvents the gameplay and feel. Link has a brand new amazing design, and there are new concepts and brand new ancient technology that the game involves around. This game is a masterpiece of puzzle solving, story, and exploration. The open world, non-linear structure is very unique, because now you can go anywhere you want that you can see in the distance. You can climb any mountain, or mostly any building. You can journey to wherever you want, do whatever you want, and see whatever you want in this massive sandbox. The physics engine is amazing as you can experiment with different objects. There are shrines all over the place, and when completing them, they award you with spirit orbs that you can upgrade your defense and stamina. And also through the game, you'll find these towers, which you can go to and grab pieces of the map, to fill out the entire map. You pick up many items, that includes weapons, tools, and food. You can create your own food dishes too, but you cannot craft weapons or any items. This makes you look for them and decide which one is better than the other. You have to constantly replace your tools because they can break. You also have special abilities provided by your Sika Slate, a device that you use to solve puzzles and use in interesting ways. The abilities are mainly used in the shrines, but you can also use them in the overworld too. There is a lot of content in this game. If you want 100% complete it, it will take you a very long time. However, if you want to try and beat it very quickly, you can do so, but it might be a lot more difficult. The art style is beautiful with its new cell shaded look, but overall this game is a masterpiece and a definitely a must have Nintendo Switch game, which is why it gets first place on the list. Well anyway guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Like Anton just said, we really hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to the both of us. Thanks Lakitu for helping out with this video and I will see you guys in the next one.